Hey viewers, today I'm going to be replacing a broken derailleur hanger. Uh, part of it's still up here, part of it's still on the derailleur. Um, I know people are going to ask me, you know, how did this happen? I can't tell you. It was like this when I got the bike. The uh, chain is kind of twisted and I think the uh, derailleur itself may be a little bit uh, damaged. I'm not sure. Anyway, first parts I, I do is I got to remove the uh, part off of here and part off of here and then try to identify what kind of derailleur hanger it is. So let's get started. Now the chain is twisted and so it's going to need to be replaced. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it to get it out of the way to make my life a little bit easier. And I'll take the wheel off. Now the method that different derailleur hangers attach the frame varies by the different types of derailleur hangers. On this one there are two small hex screws. So I want to go ahead and remove these two little screws. Tiny little screws. And then push the hanger off of there. So there's that part there. And then here's the part still attached to the rear derailleur here. So uh, let me see, I need to remove this just as if you were removing the uh, derailleur from the frame. So unscrew this little part here. And so there's this little part here. So here's the two pieces of the derailleur hanger. Examine the pieces to see if there's any like part numbers on there. In this case, there's none, which is usually the case, but you never know, you might get lucky. So let's go ahead and stick the two pieces together to see what it would have looked like. And so that's what the derailleur hanger would have looked like in one piece. So now we need to start researching a, uh, for a replacement part. Now you might be able to identify the particular type of derailleur hanger by the uh, model of the bike. In this case, it's a specialized rock hopper comp. But usually what I'll end up doing is identifying it visually, uh, searching through Google images. So let's try to figure, find a replacement for this. Okay, I'm going to start over here on Google, and I typed in Specialized Rock Hopper Comp Derailleur Hanger. Search for that. It brings me to this main search page, and then I'm going to go click Images. And so now I want to search for derailleur hangers that are visually similar to what is on the bike. Now, there's some here that are just obviously nothing like what was on the bike. But if you look through here, there are some that are, this one looks basically identical to what was on the bike. This one is very similar. The top part's the same shape, it's got the screw holes. There's a little difference here. This one's hollow here, like what was on the bike. This one's not hollow here. So it's a weak point here. And the reason for the weak point is if you hit something, you'd rather have the derailleur hanger break off than that force go into the derailleur itself. The replacing the derailleur hanger is significantly cheaper than replacing the derailleur itself. That being said, here's some down here that are very similar. It's got the same shape, it's got the same holes, but it's like more solid down here. So now these may work on there. You'd have to, you know, if you ordered one, you could try it, see if it fit. If not, you have to return it. I generally like to go with what uh, is close to what was on the bike to begin with, which is probably this one. So this is probably the one I'm gonna go for. But now if you're not finding something that is similar to what was on your bike, you can try dropping out the model name and just go for the brand and search for that. Now, if you're still not finding something uh, what like what was on your particular bike, you can even drop that out and just do search for derailleur hanger. You're gonna have a lot more derailleur hangers to search through, but uh, hopefully you'll find something similar to what was on your bike. Now, another trick is sometimes you can find a uh, particular derailleur hanger similar to what was on your bike, get a model number, and then search for the model number to open up uh, more choices and find one for a price that you're more likely to pay. So anyway, but yeah, I'm most likely going to go for something like this. So I got a new derailleur hanger, and it is identical to the old one, and so let's go ahead and install it. Now, as I said, different uh, hangers mount differently. Uh, this particular one comes in from the back and just push it into place. Let me use some pliers here to go ahead and kind of press it 
fully into place and now screw in the screws be careful not to over tighten them they're very tiny little screws not a lot of threads And then remount the derailleur. Like that. And then remount the rear wheel. So that is how to replace a broken derailleur hanger. The biggest issue usually is trying to identify the replacement, but if you go through the steps on Google that I showed you, usually it's not too hard to find the replacement, the correct one. But uh, so now I'm ready to do all the rest of the work on this bike, which is a lot. So hopefully you found this video useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button down there. Be sure to click the bell so you get notified when new videos come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a lot of stuff over there. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching.